There you go. Okay. So, ready? We're making cheese. We're making cheese. <laughs> We're making cheese. <laughs> okay. So We're ready. This cheese I'm just watching, really. we're gonna do with either you can do with almond or you can do with cashew. Uh -huh. uh, you can do it with other nuts, but those are the two primarily okay. ones that I've used. Uh, because we're using a ninja or a home blender, you can soak your cashews so that they are plump and softer and easier to blend. Yeah. Uh, but you don't have to. You certainly don't have to. Yeah. If you've got a really High powered. Um, um, what's that blender that's so high powered? Um, uh, oh, yeah, the Vitamix. Vitamix. <laughs> or the Will It Blend? Uh, blend Tech. That's right. They're, but they're like five times the price of this. Yeah. And this does a pretty good job for my budget. Yes. So. Um, but not obviously professional chef. Well, if you're obviously. making high volume, of course. Yeah, you, you want. don't want to be going, come on! Do you? Whizzing. Okay. But this does a good job. It does a good job. And so far, it's it's okay. So far, it's okay. Right. It's made work. Right. So in order to turn uh, to turn this into a more sliceable cheese, a cheese that you, uh, ex when you tell someone this is a, an alternative milk cheese, yeah. they're expecting something that looks like a cheese. cheese. So we can certainly make like soft cheese spreads and dips and things like that, yeah. but this is going to be sliceable. And Excellent. in order to get that texture, we're using a product called agar, or agar agar. And agar yeah. comes from the ocean, it's a seaweed. And what it, you can buy it in two forms. You can buy it either in a flake or in a powder. And it will change um, how the quantity that you use in the recipe based on if you use the powder yeah. or the flake. The flake, of course, is much lighter. Uh, and it's uh, so you'll use more by volume, whereas the powder and, and we'll have the specifics on the recipe yeah. for you. You'll use a lower quantity. Yeah. But the key with making this, this is really a gelling agent. Yeah. And what it's going to do is um, it's basically going to help our cheese congeal so that it can slice. Yeah. Excellent. OK. And that's the one that I bought from my. So if you're here in the UK, that's yeah. a, a good brand that's to get. That's in the UK. That's the one I got. And. They have instructions on how to use it on the back of the pack, yes. and I think if it you, I think you can get powder here. It's just yeah. this was the one the shop that I went to. So had. the key is heating it, right? Right. But what you want to do is you want to measure it into your liquid, and here we have. We might need to turn it. Hang on. Turn it to this. Which way we're we going? That way. Yeah. Just the whole thing, the stand and everything. Now. Okay. So. You want to add it, oh wait, okay, Okay. pause, right? <laughs> you want to add it to your liquid while the liquid is cold, because if you add it to the hot liquid, it's just going to clump up and have little balls, Okay. right, little grit. All right, okay. okay. So I'm going to, this is, uh, this is the almond milk we just made, okay. so we're going to go ahead and do, I'm going to add... This is two tablespoons, and we're going to do just a hair more, just because I'm used to using the powder and we're using right. the Right, okay. Okay, so what we're also going to, uh, so we're going to mix this with our whisk for a second here, and then we're going to add in um, just a drop of oil. So okay. this is an unfiltered organic olive oil. Yeah. And it's the light, a lighter version. Light. The light olive oil that yeah. I usually do my cooking with. So you can also use sunflower. Uh, you can use an avocado oil. Oh, I've got avocado um, oil. Coconut oil will impart a stronger flavor. Mm. So you really just want a mild, and it's just a drop. If you are anti-oil, which a lot of people aren't doing fractionated fats right now, you can leave it out, okay. but this does give it the je ne sais quoi. No, it gives, it, quoi. The, it, gives it the creaminess. The you know, it helps. Fabulousness. Yeah. So just a little splash. That thing that if you are, have recently uh, made the transition to um, vegan or plant-based, people that love their cheese previously, it's the bit that you kind of think's missing. Hang on, let me... Okay, you've got with local car. Thank you. So medium heat. Okay. This we, is the big ring, just to let you know. Yes. And uh, like she's never seen a big ring before being a chef. 
We're going to dissolve that, the agar flakes uh, into the milk, and then we're going to let it come to a simmer. I'm going to switch places with you, and you'll keep an eye on that. And I'm going to keep going here. So while that, while that comes to a simmer, um, Anna, can you turn it just a little bit? Okay, or, uh, yeah, that's good. So while that comes to a simmer, we're going to uh, prepare the other ingredients. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the uh, cashew nuts. Which you can't see. Let me turn the camera around. Is this going to burn? No, Let me see if burn. I can stir. Oh, no, it's not. It's, um, it's the other thing on the thing. You have to turn the whole thing. That, yeah. And now up just a little bit, so... There you go. Perfect. Okay. There. Ready? Keep going. Okay. So you're going to feel that begin to thicken and have its texture change. Okay. Okay. So we're going to not mess this. We're bit adding up. the cashews into the blender, and this is where we're going to season. Now, our seasoning is going to be garlic powder and onion powder. However, if you wanted to use fresh garlic and onion, you can. It's going to be a little bit more pungent, stronger flavors, whereas the garlic in a powdered form or granule form is more mild, and it's actually sweeter because it's been dried and uh, heated and ground into a powder. So we're going to do this to taste, um, and we're going to just put in a little garlic and onion, <clears throat> more onion than garlic here, and then this cheese can be made into a bunch of different variations. So Sue pulled out several things here. We can add turmeric, we could add paprika, we could add cumin, uh, we could add chili flakes, jalapeno if you wanted a spicier cheese. Yeah. If you wanted more of like a lemon, dill, and garlic, you could add yeah. those flavors. You really can change this up Whatever a lot. Whatever you like. Yeah. Sun-dried tomatoes, basil, Ooh, you know, olives, some Italian, some Italian seasoning. Yeah. You could make it a little Mexican-y, couldn't you? With yes. Mexican Cajun yeah. spices Cumin and stuff. And, yeah, chili powder. And how's that feeling? May I it's, feel? Yeah, please do. I've turned like it down it? a bit because okay. it's gone, going Okay. Turn it up a well, bit. we want it to thicken. So it's okay, it's, it, 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 and do you feel the difference? Do you feel how it is starting to thicken? It's, uh, it is, it's coming to a ball now. So yeah, is, so we do it? want it to come up to that simmer and then just keep stirring it. Okay. Okay, the other ingredient that's going to help make this cheesy is our nutritional yeast. So nutritional yeast is high in um, B vitamins and it adds a cheesy texture it's folic flavor. Acid as well. It has folic acid as well. It is fortified, uh, but this is something that you want to use sparingly because it can overpower in okay. flavors. So we're going to add some nutritional yeast to our cheese. And there we go. And then... That's slightly off camera. I don't know if you want to move the blender a bit. Let's snuggle in a little bit with our cooker okay. in my difficult to organize camera yeah. and lights kitchen. We're, we're good. But How's we're doing, feeling? yeah, it's definitely starting look as good. Is it feeling got, thicker? A little bit. A little bit. You know, well, you can edit this part out, but I'm going to sprinkle this a yeah. bit more. Mine didn't go, mine, when I made my cheese, it, it was a bit, it's set, but it was not really sliceable. And then what you'll end up doing is probably taking a picture of this and getting it on camera. Yeah. After. Okay, so let's bring it down. Did it, yeah, it's, okay. So you see the difference? Yeah. Doesn't it feel a lot thicker? It's all like a, like meringue. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn it off. Well, okay. Sit here, what do you think? Still? I need to feel it. I would let it cook low. We can, let's move it to the smaller ring and let it cook on low. Do you know what you're going to want to add to it, Sue, uh, in terms um, of these ingredients? Well, I think... You want to yeah, just keep it kind of plain and just do the turmeric for the color to look like a cheddar yeah. or the paprika, I mean? Che that's not hot paprika, no, is it? No. I don't want to make it too... That's yeah, that's nice, but maybe turmeric and paprika would be yeah, nice Yeah, for the color. That's not hot. No, no, no. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we don't need to talk about all this. Okay, we're going to keep going, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Go, go, go. Okay, so now um, 
this uh, into our cashews. We're gonna add a little bit of turmeric, and this is just to help um, add that cheddar-like color. Yeah. Right, and a little bit of paprika. So a little yellow and a little red, or dark red. Okay, so we're gonna get our lid on. We're gonna see how this blends up. I'm gonna turn it on. to do here is to grind this up and uh, into a nice meal we're going to scrape it down it smells really great oh, too. It come on it's oh, good oh, it's like red. It's not good. oh it's just that's and uh, now i see i bought i bought these ingredients this garlic granules i've never used garlic granules before because i like fresh garlic and onions, I've never used those two products before, but I can totally see why now. Yeah, and so the difference really totally. is that so if you use the fresh, you will get a much stronger pungent flavor, which is okay if you like those flavors, but if you're trying to make yeah. a delicate cheese, I, you wanna... Yeah. I made a hummus okay. with fresh garlic. Yes. It just about burnt the yeah. inside of my mouth. Yeah, it was vampire, <laughs> vampire it hummus. Was. And, and, and I was the laughing stock. My son and my husband thought it was hysterical. Okay, we're gonna blend. Okay, I see the safety feature. All right, so now Excellent. I'm gonna do that one more time. Oh, this is definitely thinning. okay. Thicker, yes. Yeah. tilt the blender rock it a little bit that's you don't want to do that if you have a Vitamix yeah I'm doing this because of the safety feature this yeah. the bowl's not going to go anywhere and yeah. it just helps move everything back yeah. and forth into the blade it's a small amount in a big yes. pot so exactly it goes against the side and then the blades are just whizzing nothing okay so miso miso, miso. this is a dark red miso paste I am this is this. made with fermented soybeans yeah the darker one has more earthier flavors yeah you, have, you can there's so many different varieties of miso yeah. out there but the benefit with this is that it adds a salty com flavor profile and it also adds a fermented component so it gives okay. us the probiotics excellent yeah Okay. Is it a probiotic? There's a, there's a koji culture that's added back in when uh, this is uh, made. Right. So that culture is the it's again a living food. Even though it's been cooked, the soybeans have been cooked in the making of the process of making the paste. Right. Adding the koji culture back in makes it a living food. So. I'm just going to try it again because I had my first little taste of it. Uh, yeah. And you know me, I'm all about the living foods. <laughs> raw, Yum. raw and living. Oh, isn't that great? I really, really like it. So you can use this, a little bit of this in a, in a, I, I don't want to do too much, in hot water to make miso soup. Um, you can also add it to your it's salad delicious. dressings, to your dips, to your wow. spreads. You can make a sauce just by adding a little bit of hot water to some yeah. in a bowl and then adding a little lime juice, some cumin. You know, make some add some spices that can go on a nori sheet to make nori rolls. It could be a wow. sauce or a salad dressing base. So, so that's very and and you can add hot water to it and have it as a drink to like like a hot like savory a hot savory tea. Drink. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So and so then I'm going to add some hot bovril. There you go. <laughs> or uh, marmite, hot marmite. All right, so now I added some lemon juice as well. Okay. And now we're going to add our hot mixture. Oh, 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 oh. Uh. Okay, so go ahead and add it in. This can handle heat, yeah? Yeah. Okay. All of it. All of it. All of it. And so see the through that constant stirring kept it from scorching. If you didn't constantly stir it, it would scorch at the bottom. And then you'd have smoky cheese. Smoky cheese, okay, burnt. Do you want me to get it all off? 
is short. Yeah, I'm, I've got this thing. They know me. They know me well. Waste not, want not. Yes. The child of a warbird. The only thing is if you did end up overcooking it a little bit and you had a solid bottom, you don't want to scrape that in. No. Okay. No. All right. Good tip, that. All right. So now Sometimes we're Sometimes I burn things. Right, it's got the, that's got to be right. Okay, so we're gonna start, I wanna pulse this a little because okay. it's hot. to scrape yeah okay mm -hmm. let some of that steam out oh look at this okay so let's go ahead and we're gonna scrape the lid if your uh, yours gets all over the lid waste you want to scrape not. that in waste not want not <laughs> all right I actually um, I don't do this when I'm in restaurants <laughs> when I'm out or like if you were to invite me over for dinner I wouldn't do it at your house but it'd be um, okay if you did it at my house. It, I know it would be, but like if you invited me around like for the first time. But I lick all my plates and bowls so they don't look like they've even been used. Always. Something to aspire to. Yes. <laughs> all right. <laughs> now, we didn't use any salt. You can certainly add some salt, uh, but what you'll notice is that the miso will add... Oh, that is gorgeous. The miso will add the salty flavor. And, okay, so what do you think? I think it's gorgeous. And it has some texture to it. It has texture to it. It's like cheese. It's like cheese. Well, yeah. It's almost there. It's, it's almost like there. cheese, folks. Are you going to be so pleased with this recipe? What? I don't, I don't know. What you're Tell us. <laughs> Anna, darling, it what out. is it you're telling the, us? There are clumps on the side. Of there are clumps you. on the side. Okay. Klingons on the starboard oh, side, yes. starboard side, starboard side. Are you want me to do it? No, no, I got it. We're this gonna... one here. Okay. Because we're and all and waste and not want not. This one here too. Did I get it? No. Oh, I see. Mm. Well, these blades are like really long. A lot of blades here. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to blend it one more time. Blend, blend, blend. Blend, blend, blend. I'm getting the hang of your blender. All right. Do you want, uh, do you use salt at all too? Um, very rarely. Okay. But if for, you... for the cheese, we may need a little bit of salt for the, the dry. Parmesan. The dry yeah, oh yeah, Parmesan. absolutely. Okay. I've got um, pink okay, salt. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, so let's continue on with this. So this is just a loaf pan. Um, you could use any dish, any container that you want to form your cheese in, depending on the size. Okay. So if you do something more narrow, it's going to be taller rather than longer yep. and thinner. Uh, you can certainly double this recipe, okay, to do a, a bigger amount, uh, depending on how much you need and your, your vessel that you're gonna be putting it into. Uh -huh. Okay, so with this blender, Sue, it looks to me like you take your blade out first. Yeah. And then I get all a bit like, ooh, I can't waste this. <laughs> So we're scraping, huh? and is that scraping. helping your, your <laughs> waste not want not OCD? <laughs> yeah. So we can yeah. take it here and let it drip over yeah. there if you'd okay. like. Kind of. Okay. So then I don't lick the blades. One we twist. I lick everything else. Yeah, you don't want to cut your. Sharp. You won't be able to talk if you uh, lick that oh. blade. <laughs> Gosh, my husband might be really happy about that. All right, so I'm we're gonna joking. scrape our sides. Pour that in, and this is when you want to work quickly because this will start to set up. Oh wow, that's quick, isn't it? Yes. 
Yes, yes, that agar is doing its work. So I'll show you a trick since you're into the waist knot whatnot. If you hold your blender like this yeah. and you come around and square, follow the circumference of the blender, take it down into this the middle um, into the part, valley into the valley into the gu gully here and then scrape it down then you can get a lot of your yes All I right. will be licking this later okay we'll set that aside for you and then what you can do is just much like you would a cake batter is you can tap it to get some of the air bubbles out oh wow and we'll put that in the refrigerator I didn't know that about a cake batter yeah gets the air bubbles out oh wow <laughs> So we'll put that in the refrigerator, it'll set up, we'll show it to you after. Yeah. And then it's ready to eat and slice and use as you would any cheese. I'm so excited because it does taste fantastic. Okay. Absolutely fantastic. It is, it tastes absolutely lovely. Now, and then you so, know you can completely alter the flavor with, yeah. yeah. Oh, I can but just, this is I a can great base. It. That's amazing. I want, I want to get it past my son and my husband, you see. So that will go in the fri fridge, frigidaire. Hello again, David. we're back. Okay. And how are we long? Back? Are we in? Okay, so let's start over. <laughs> we're just fighting. Okay. No, no, no fighting. So okay. how long was that in the fridge, do you reckon? 10, 15 minutes? 10 or 15 minutes. And five, 10. Five to 10, yes. Five to 10. So it's still even slightly warm at the bottom, but I want you to be able to see it. So what I'm going to do is, so it's completely solid. Oh, it is, and a bit springy. And a bit springy. We're going to take our rubber spatula and we're going to go around the circumference of the cheese just to help release it from the sides. And we're going to turn it out on our board. Ta-da! Ready? Yeah. Ta-da! Ta-da! Okay, so see, this is a little bit on the shallow side, so if you want to make a taller cheese, yeah. you can... Uh, certainly make a double recipe. Don't say anything. Fabulous. <laughs> Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Okay, so now wow. we're just going to look at this. So if you want to make some thin slices, we're just going to hang on. I'm going to hold them up. Okay. So here we've got our, our thin slices. I'm going to put that on our plate with some olives. Look, it's basil. all professional. All professional. We're going to slice some tomato. Tomato? <laughs> I say tomato. You I say, say tomato. tomato. <laughs> okay. Here we go. A little few pieces of tomato. Look and at that. We have vegan cheese slices with tomato and basil and olives. Look at that. Oh, you better taste it. I can't wait. Do you want to get a fork or a knife? I mean, a fork or a spoon. I'm just going to get my mouth and. Okay, there you go. Are you ready? Okay, let's, no, let's have a fork. Let's have a fork. Right. Okay, we did like in the Grand Master Chef where they all yeah. have the same plate together. Hang on. Whoops. Ah, I'll wait for you. Mmm. Isn't that good? It's very good. Mmm. I don't want to go for another. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, said the silent cheese eater. Here, we're going to tear up some of this basil. Try it with a little basil and oh. some olive. I love getting bites, you know, where you assemble the bite. And yeah. Depending on what you're going to do. On the plate? Yeah, on the plate. Okay. I'm just gonna get on uh... Who says you can't have cheese on a vegan diet? Isn't that amazing? Oh, a basil version of that would be insane. Wouldn't you do fresh basil in that, wouldn't mm -hmm. you? Because it would be so fragrant. Yep. yep. And it would be That's green. That's incredible. Be green cheese. Green cheese. Green cheese. Mmm. Mmm. I'll say the last one for you. She's giving me the wink. I think that means yes. I'm gonna have oh, that. there's more olives. What do you think? I think it's a winner. Mm. Okay. You're going to love it. I'm loving it. Okay. Mm. Ta-da!